Hello guys, Michaela here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build. Today we are building a home for a bookworm in the world of Windenburg. It's on a 20 by 20 uh, in the world that came with get together and it's a one bedroom, one bathroom house. I squeezed it in <laughs> because I have builds planned for a couple of months ahead actually. Uh, so I've, I don't have them built. But I have them planned, so I have this like really nice notion template that I created for myself that I have um, where I have my builds planned. So I have stuff planned, but sometimes when a new pack comes out, I have to change my schedule a little bit because I just want to build with that new pack. So that's what happened um, here. When the new uh, book nook kits came out, I was like, I need to build something with it. So I did a room last week I think or this week I think it was no it was this week um, so I built a room and I really wanted to build a house so yes that's what we are doing today so this is a build for a bookworm there is plenty of books plenty of space for your books and I also created it in the kind of woods woodsy area on the island of uh in Windenburg and I really love the way that turned out I as a person who really loves books, I think people who are really into books are introverts and they prefer being on their own, to, you know, because they can snuggle up with the book. And I felt like kind of channeling that when working on this on this home. So that's what I that's what I did. So it's like very secluded. It's very private. There is plenty of seating space. There is like a lounge area. There is barbecue area. There um, is space for kind of hanging out. So there is space for people to come over. You can have two Sims sleeping in this. So you don't have to have only one Sim living here. And there is also a small pond that I'm gonna add later. So it's overall like a very kind of secluded, calm, um, space or a place and I really like that because I feel like as a person who reads as well I would love uh, to have a house like this just in the middle of nowhere um, but with good internet of course because I would need internet to upload my speed builds. <laughs> um, yeah I did mention it in my previous videos a little bit usually at the end but I'm getting really really close to the 4000 watch hour um, mark so that means that I could be monetized which is very exciting I am also thinking about streaming sometimes maybe I definitely want to stream the shell challenges that I'm hosting it's still going till I think I and made it till 16th it used it was supposed to be till 8 what 11th but i'm going on a trip or like an excursion with the geography department next week um so i won't have time to, to do it anyway so i decided to kind of make the deadline a little bit longer so you have more time to work on your shelves but uh it gives also me more time to um tour them so the point was i wanted to, wanted to try and to tour them uh here on youtube but i would also like to maybe do some um streams during the summer as well i'm not sure about that though because i don't know how much time i'll have how uh when i'm gonna be home and things like that so we will see how that um goes i forgot to say the price uh, of this so it comes in at 54,611 simoleons so it's not exactly cheap but it's also not that expensive i feel like i don't know I, I have no idea i've never properly played the game so i have no idea how difficult or not it is to make money with certain things so apart from having uh, plenty of books in here i also made a um like an art station outside so i placed a an easel with like one of those decorations that looks like a, a, bo like a box but like um storage for um like paint stuff or like drawing stuff things like that so that's all outside and i think there's also a computer at the table in the kitchen i believe and then you have a barbecue you have an outdoor oh i placed also yoga stuff because i was like heavily inspired by myself to be honest i don't read as much as i used to um i think 
university reading kind of um, killed my love for books a little bit, but I hope I'm gonna go uh, get back to that. Um, but I love yoga. I love a place like this. You know, I would love to live in a place like this. You know, secluded, away from people. Um, so I, f- I feel like I was kind of inspired by what I would like to live in. Um, so this this build is very much um, me. <laughs> so as I said, there is there are skill building items. There are plenty of book uh, space for books. I kind of made this into a loft, which means that um, if you the bed is on the lofted space and there is plenty of book space like this. I mean, technically it's not accessible because I did not include a ladder or anything. But in the Sims, it doesn't really matter because you have bookcases that are accessible for your sims so that's all uh, you need to to have really i made it uh, the interior very woodsy i used the wallpaper that came with the book nook kit and i paired it with a flooring from i believe um cottage living and that i think it looks really nice and it creates a very kind of serene like natural atmosphere and I really really like that I paired that with like warm wood and uh, like light wood and dark wood and with um kind of this greenish color that I took from the couches and the chairs because I uh, you know I like to do that I kind of like to have one um color and that's like accent color in the home also what I want to talk about we've got um you know, there is a drama going on in the community about the um, console players who want uh, to their controls back, which I thought is really important because I cannot imagine if my controls changed um, because I'm used to kind of operating my game in a certain way and it would be very um, upsetting, I'd say, um, if someone, if they changed it. So I cannot imagine what the console simmers are feeling like when their um, like control buttons changed. So I would really, um, I really hope that the Sims team is going to go back to how it was before. Um, but I also really don't like the fact that potentially <clears throat> they covered it up with the leak of the new expansion pack. So we don't know if it's true about the expansion pack, which seems like could be themed around horses and um i'm excited about that i really love that i really love the vibe that the pack could have i mean it could have been part of cottage living because it sounds it seems like it's going to have a similar style even though the like um hints uh look like that the world is going to be more like like arizona kind of inspired again i would prefer to have like a non-american inspired world but um it's it's good it's not like generic um type of world that we got like copperdale or moonwood mill so it's not like trees and green and stuff like that so i'm happy about that but i would have preferred something non-american but i'm i am excited about the expansion pack about the leak i hope it's true but on the other hand i really don't appreciate uh, if it was to cover up the whole fiasco with the console players so i really hope that it's gonna go back to how it was for console players and yeah so that's what i want to talk about so i am excited about horses because the style again seems pretty similar to cottage living and it would really it could work really nicely for like very cozy cottages and things like that so i am excited to see more but I also hope that the whole situation gets resolved in a manner that's um, good for the console players. Um, yeah. So I am working on the kitchen here. I really love this nook uh, in the house. I am overall like very happy about how this turned out. Again, it's very much inspired by, by what I would like to have in a home. Um, there is plenty of seating space. Um, the kitchen is also fully functional and pretty spacious, I would say. I use this, um, what's a, I think like a, it's a continuation of a curtain that we got with the Desert Lux kit, but I use it as a shelf because it's really tiny. It's uh, much nicer and realistic than the base game shelf that we have. 
so that's why I decided to use this instead of the big one on top uh, above the sink and I placed some um I don't know kitchen stuff <laughs> and also a towel which I kind of hid into it and I really like the way that looks um, I'm just adding a rock here and we are going to move on to this like little hallway. I didn't really know what to do with it. There was supposed to be a window in, at the beginning, but then I decided to kind of abandon that idea and I added more um, reading uh, like bookcases because the ones that are in the living room are not actually accessible because they are kind of covered with other things. So I wasn't sure if your sims could reach uh, books in there. So that's why I decided to um, add those in the hallway so that it would, uh, so that I make sure that there are bookcases that are accessible. Uh, now we're looking on this really, really tiny, uh, not really tiny, it's pretty big considering how small this uh, house is. There are, there are two things and the washing and dryer machines. So there is plenty of space in there. So I'm working on the bathroom. I really liked the golden um, accents, I like touches on some of the items here, which I, I don't know why, but I felt like it fit really nicely with the rest of the home. I have no idea why, because there is no gold like anywhere, but I don't know, just, I don't know. I really thought it looked really cool. So I'm just adding a toilet, some decorations as always, my favorite shelf from Tiny Living that I give and I put into like every build possible. And now we are moving to the bedroom area. I think I ended up using a bed from Growing Together, which I've been obsessed with ever since that came, uh, ever since that pack came out. I used a console table that came with the pack. Now, this is where I realized I wanted to include a different shade of uh, like the wood as well because I wanted to use this bed in particular. So that's where I changed some of the swatches to this more um, very light wood tone. And what I've kind of started doing recently with my builds is that I do the landscaping and the exterior but I don't do any exterior furnishing because I'm not sure about what style I'm going to go for on the inside. So what I do is that I start with the shell, then I do the landscaping and kind of everything other than the outside furnishing. And then I go to the inside and then I go back and add, uh, and add like furnishings to the outside that kind of resembles the interior because I feel like it's much easier to then do it because I know what I want or like what I did on the inside because sometimes what happened is that I wasn't sure what the inside is going to look like and I did the exterior and I did it in a different style because I wasn't sure about what I wanted to do so that's what I started doing uh, these days so I think I think it makes sense to do it this way because it really kind of has a continuation and yeah I like that. Um, anyway, so now we moved on to the upstairs lounge area, if you want to call it. I used the couches from the new kit, the tables from the new kit, like pretty much everything on this is from the new kit. Um, the carpet, or like rug, sorry, not carpet, rug, uh, the chair, the couches, some of the clutter on those, um, ta on the table. And here I added a yoga mat as well as the meditation stool and plenty of um, plants because, I mean, you gotta have plants. I love plants. I put them everywhere. So yes, I used this uh, big plant from Eco Lifestyle to uh, fill up the space a little bit. And I really like this. I would, I mean, it's probably not very usable when it's like cold outside or when it's raining, but I really um, like the hangout space. I mean, yeah, the, the one, um, this like covered patio thing is probably much more usable um like you can use it in different weathers because it's covered all of it but the upstairs is just cute and cozy um so here is where the kind of like art studio is going to be i use these kind of i don't know how to call them more decoration that came with i believe get famous um to section it off a little bit and then I initially had like a full on platform here, but then I decided to take a step down into where the grill is and where the art 
supplies are going to be because uh, the easel was kind of poking through <laughs> the roof uh, if I didn't do it. So I took a step down into this area uh, from the table that I placed. I also placed a chair in here, I believe, and just some um, more decorations as well. And I'm not sure. Oh, I know what I didn't do. I didn't. Uh, there is also a... I'm not sure how to call it. Like a... Br not bridge, it's not bridge, but like a something <laughs> over the pond where I again placed some hangout places. I think I placed a sunbed in there and also like a couch so your sims can um, maybe lay with the book there because why not? And you can uh, really, I really love the clutter items that came with the new kit. They're really cute and I can see myself using them quite a lot. Um, in my future builds. So yeah, that's almost it for today's speed build. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, if you want to download this build, you can get it on the gallery. My ID is Michaela Sims YT, or you can get the trade files in the description box below as always on my Kofi page. I always make sure to upload my trade files there because I, I want people to have the option to choose if they want to use the gallery or if they want to uh, use the, the trade files um, as well. So yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Choose what's right and take what comes and goes And ain't no one in life old